yeah welcome um everyone over there how you doing i'm just going to show you how to use um a slider um you can use a slider for um some a lot of people call it carousel a lot of people call it whatever they're going to call it but slider is slider either carousel either gallery either something slider is slider but the purpose of this tutorial is just to demonstrate how to use a very simple library um to create your own slider so you can add your slider to your joomla project to your wordpress project to any of your projects that um, you use or you, you you create with um html5 anything you just feel like anywhere you feel like even in node um in node and things like that so you can use your slider anywhere you want to um this is a sample of what we'll be creating um and this is the tush version of it you understand something like that so while um, what triggered me to create this slider is that um i did something recently that i needed to create um, a testimonial so a testimonial for 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 a client and um, the client um, um i was not able to get um, something tangible you know i can write vanilla javascript to, to to do it but it would take me long a, a lot of time to do because i needed a, to meet up with the deadline do you understand so um while i was searching uh, you know i'm this kind of person that um i research for if i'm to deliver it a job to a client that um you can learn from it too if i'm to deliver it to a client that uh, gave me kind of a one week duration to act to to complete it to complete the task you understand so i can um, use three or four days to make research and make things ready to be able to complete the the job so with with four days five days i can just keep on researching so in in the many two days um i'll get to work actually i've been working because researching means also 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 it consumes time so that's also work on it too so we don't waste much of our time because we have a limit of 10 minutes so it's going to go straight to what we actually need so for you to create your own slider it's something you need to do um, you need to get over here. I'm gonna drop this um, GitHub link on the on the channel's um, description there, so you can check. So this is a tiny slider. It says tiny slider. The tiny slider that does a powerful job. So I'm gonna give kudos to to this um, developer. Yeah, he, he actually made life easier for a lot of people. So you can add this in your project um, at when you've done that. So you can see it's a slider. And um, you can call it carousel, whatever. It's just as simple as it is right now. So instead of um, cloning this Git repo or thinking how you're gonna do that, he has made life easy by putting um, it on um, CDN. So where where you can just um, use whatever you want to use from. You understand? Look at a lot of features it has. It has loops. It has rewind. It has slide by. It has got by. It has edge padding. It has a um, Responsive now it has daily loading all to play all to hide it is in there. So um I'm just gonna go straight to installation. So right now we have uh, we have our sliders here as you can see. So I'm just gonna erase this, erase this off. Um while I'm while I was making this this video, the recording um the voice note was not working. So I had completed the video before I realized that. So and um, I'm just remaking the video again. So I'm just going to uh, erase everything I've done here and um, restart. Or rather, instead of erasing it, I'm going to copy it somewhere or create a new page. Yeah, the creating a new page will be okay so that I can just copy one or two things here, especially the CSS part. So um, it says that uh, we just need to. So I'm just going to create the HTML. Um, basic uh, tag here that says HTML. Um, closing the tag here again. Then uh, we have the head. Then we're gonna close the head again also. And we have the body. I'm just gonna close the body also. You understand? Then I think that's that. Then uh, um, then we cannot have display the head here. So that says uh, maybe title or something. So. Um, do we really need that? I don't think we need we needed that too, but let's just put it uh, so fine, you know we 
drop our CSS in the um, in the head tag. So I'm just going to copy this because that was the first thing we, we need. We have to copy here. Yeah, it says hard CSS. Um, that is, um, if you are going to be using Internet Explorer, then it means you, you need to add, add prolifill. So proly prolifill or something. So you can um, look for that and add the prolifill there. Also, if you want to check out their demos. I'm supposed to just show you their, their own demos also because there's a lot to to, to 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 do but i'm just gonna yeah let me just show you this you can see a lot here um before i continue so you have a lot here also uh so if you check out their uh, source code you will you can if you're able to get a cdn to the to the uh poorly feel so i'm not going to add it to our own project here no I'm not going to add it because that's uh, okay. Let me just check it out so that we can both see. So I think they, are, they should have polyfill somewhere. Oh, I can't even find it. <laughs> I thought something we can just uh, look up and get, but right now I, I realize that it's not something you can just look up and get. So, um, with that being said, we can just try to duplicate out polyfills uh, CDN poly polyfill CDN. Sorry, I'm not trying to digress here. So I'm just trying to yeah, it's a JavaScript library. So boom, 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 boom. yep, yep. So we just need to copy the script tag again without the whatever there. So that's what we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna put that there at the bottom. At the bottom, then um, yeah, then um, so with that being said, so that was in case you're using Explorer. So in case you're, uh, it's always good to add it so that um, it will be accessible. Your site will look the same on on every every other browser because you don't know what your audience or your clients might be using to access the. The, the pages you understand so that's that so these are the samples of um again you can even have a particle slider so the samples of what you can use tennis like that to do you can see it's very powerful so i'm not if i were to name the slider i won't name it tiny i'm going to call it um gray slider or something like that because it's it does a lot of very lot of it does a good job you no know? does a very very good job um, you have auto play also, you know, very very awesome. You have auto play, you have all these things. It's gonna slide again now. You are fine. So um, after we have, I haven't shown you that, I'm just gonna go straight. So right now we need to just copy this, which is simple also, you know. Yeah. Um, so this it says here that we can also use uh, we can also use list. You understand? We can also use list listing. For the sliding also so but here in this tutorial I'm, I'm not using listing or we can also do that also just for showcasing purpose hmm? you can do that also but we have a limit to 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 um we have a timing the timing is 10 minutes you can a bit go a bit overboard just to show i can go a bit overboard for you to show uh some other things so that we can also see i'm just creating this now so um, you're gonna bear with me please you know you're gonna bear with me you're gonna bear with me sorry sorry about that i don't know why it's popping up okay fine you have um that um so now the next thing to do is for us to call to add our tiny cd uh, tiny slider tag so we're just going to add it below prolifill here instant so um then the next thing to do is to call it to instantiate um, the slider which is getting this out of here you understand so um just going to get this out of here so I'm not going to use the above import stuff. This that I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm just going to do this straight. Yeah. 
some scripts yeah. then we have um, I'm just gonna shift this in a bit so it fits the whole it makes sense though so it makes sense so I'm gonna shift this in a bit also I shift this in a bit also so just just for shifting sake though so now I'm just gonna create um, a new slider here you know slider to find um, I have that um, so now I'm just gonna show you what we have here right now oh we haven't pasted the uh the css imagine just went straight to the polyfill we didn't paste the css sorry about that uh -huh, fine so now we have this now so i'm just going to show you uh what this gave you know we are launching chrome so we have that fine you can see it's dot 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 so that's what we have now so i'm just going to now here, this way I'm going to copy this CSS from so that I don't have to retype, you know. So I'm copying this whole thing here. Um, says this, putting it back here because I don't want to retype again. I've done that before. Um, um, I before I realized that uh, my mic was not working. So um, and that fine. So now I have this. So you, you get it's it's not working the way we expected it to to work right. Fine. So I don't know what actually caused the problem, but we are going to check it together now. We are going to check it together now. Oh, sorry. It's it was um, picking up this instead of picking up the first one. You understand? It was picking up this second slider instead of picking up the first one. So I'm just going to erase this because, like I said, I didn't use that before. So, yeah, because we need something to work. So we don't need something that won't work. So we have to use something that will work. You understand? And we're just gonna pick up that. So with that now, you can see what we now achieved. So we have our slider here, and it moves automatically. You know, fine. So with this now, you can create your own carousel, like your own hero, big your hero slider, big one that covers um. Oh, I didn't showcase the big slider to you here. Um, this is one of the big slider that you can use that to create. Um, you can see something as big as this. Very awesome. Huh? Very awesome. You know, very awesome. It and it's it's useful. You know, look at this. That has a that has a thumbnails. So you can add that to your to your sliders too. But this is just the very basic. So you can check here to see a lot of other options. That can be added, you know. Um, talking about the slider, talking about the mode, talking about the axis, talking about the gutter, talking about the fixed width, talking about the slider, talking about the controls, and a lot more can be done with that. So, um, for the sake of touching, for the sake of touching, I'm just going to show you what I did with this, with this, with the slider also, so that. You can um, see that you can see what is possible. This is one I created, and I think I showed you that time. You know, it's it's still very basic, but you know, it's it it looks great, right? Uh huh. It looks great. So it's still very. You can see it's it's kind of a testimonial kind of thing, and and I think it's just one. So one has to be in the middle, you know, one one by one, one by one, one by one, and things like that. So. Now look at the look at the way it's been done. Look at the amount of CSS I had to write to be able to achieve that. You understand? I had to create. I had to make sure that the button floats on the right, moves it moves it on the right. That's the way it is right now. Then I like that and I like that also. So um, these are things you can also do. So you can put navigation at the center, um, which you can change. A lot of things can be changed here. So this was how I was able to achieve my own um, slider thing. You understand um testimonia 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 you get and things like that and that was it 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 so um 
if you need me to um, check out anything or to 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 if you need to ask questions you can drop your questions in the comment i'm going to go over it and um, ask answer you appropriately um we i'm going to be uh, uploading more of all these um apartments um to make a whole a, 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 to, to, so that it can all make sense so you can like i said earlier you can integrate this in your projects and a lot of other things so um also uh, we will be creating um some wordpress series um we are, we, we are not going to teach you how to create wordpress website now we'll be teaching you how to implement um themes um yeah how to implement themes so how to create your own theme you understand or how to create your own um, website also you know from that um from that same thing also with joomla and things like that so just hit like if you love our video right now so that you can encourage us to make more of it over and over again um see you in the next um lesson because right now or if you feel you want us to create a video on something you can just drop your request in the comment below then we are going to do the, just that for you for you and you alone we are here to serve you thank you very much and do have a nice time sorry before you go kindly press the subscription button below please do that please do that so that that will encourage us to make more videos of this nature thank you very very much